What's going on everybody? Confound it here and today I am bringing you my review of the Hophog Capture Release Candidate 3 software which is going to be our new capture software for use with the Hophog PVR2 the, P, or the PVR2, the PVR2 Gaming Edition and the PVR2 Gaming Edition Plus as well as they've said that it's going to support the Colossus as well. Right here I've got my PVR2 up. I've got just um, you know on friends list at on um, Xbox just so I could show y'all with something on the screen and I'm fixing to open the capture module inside of a uh, Arcsoft showbiz but talking about the capture module let me just go ahead and uh, give you a brief overview of this here we have a capture window and with the capture window you, you're no longer outside of showbiz like okay click capture here and any day now and there we go and we've got um, the uh, capture module and you saw it took a little while to load up and everything else and what I'm doing is I've got this set to the Colossus here and I'm just going to be mirroring uh, my screen right there on that and um, so you've got a module there and while we're talking about modules as well let me go ahead and uh, show you streamies so we've got streamies yes we want to run it and up comes another window for streamies okay so streamies we want to stream there we go streamies we've got the streaming window and uh, right down here you've got the input resolution 1920 1080 60 frames per second all that fun stuff video audio and it's all right here inside of this you don't need to go inside of device settings format settings everything else the quality of it upload bandwidth very responsive slider there's no lag time between it you know I've um, already gotten my twitch information set up and stored in there my location is not west coast of San Francisco though we'll just say East Miami Florida close enough and start streaming and we should be streaming I mean, yep there we go there's the preview window 1920 by 1080 and it's scaled to 1280 by 720 which is what twitch will allow you to do and I'm going to stop the stream and then I'm going to go over here to settings personal logo and this is just um, to show you how everything is all in one place now so you're not opening up all these things to you know put in a what used to be the personal logo well it is still the personal logo now you do it all within the settings window add that to it you can change your recording and screenshot directory right here also talking about your capturing itself it's a instant record kind of situation you uh, press record and you're recording now microphone input I want to stress this I can't stress this enough and I know I'm going to get comments and all kinds of questions about how do I get it to pick up my voice so I'm going to say this as emphatically as possible you must have either a separate microphone that plugs directly into your computer or have a headset that is capable to work with a console at the same time as your computer for example my turtle beach x12s they are capable of such a thing they have a way to connect to the xbox as well as a way for me to plug directly into my pc so i'm able to record at the same time so for microphone input um, this is my other headset that i use for skype micro well down here is the one i use for skype logitech usb blah 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 and this is my turtle beach x12s right here even though they're not labeled turtle beach x12s you will notice it does not say Xbox it does not say PlayStation 3 so as of now the only way to get your voice in the recording at the same time as you're recording is to have a separate microphone or have a headset that will work with the Xbox and a PC at the same time that's all there is to it otherwise you'll have to get an audio mixer and there's plenty of videos on how that whole setup works all right now another big change that they've made let me close down this capture module and get into the edit module and I'll show you the edit window bam we're in the edit window and we're still waiting on the edit module 
Nope, we're there. Storyboard timeline. Let me just pull this Minecraft down here. So we've got something there. And that's what I just did, showing you the instant recording. And this is just a quick little capture I did. I'm going to mute this real quick because it'll echo through my speakers. And this was just a real quick gameplay of Skyrim I did just to show it, show you the uh, editing software. I'm just going to stop that. And what you can do with this is you can trim the head and the tail or cut. You know, you're going to cut everything from here back. Or you can come down here and you can cut everything from there forward. And you'll end up with separate files. You can come over here. Um, split everything else so here you are losing a little bit of the capabilities that you had inside of arcsoft showbiz but like i've said in um i think it was the make a montage 43 minutes of madness and as well as some of my other series i did those series so you would have enough knowledge to put together something so you could see if this was something where you wanted to invest invest the money in yourself and your hobby or whatever else you want to call it so that you can move it forward and with this software I'm saying this now and this will be my review that the power and capabilities and the functionality of just the release candidate 3 of this software well a well outweighs the benefits or the negatives of you losing the editing to the extent that you got with Arcsoft Showbiz so if you are serious about it, which you probably are because you bought a Hapag, am I right? Yes. So, you know, you can go ahead and Sony Vegas has a, a um, or not Sony Vegas, Sony itself, I think it's Movie Studio, something like that. It's pretty affordable and a very reliable under $100 editing software. My uh, buddy Silas uses it all the time. I've also myself used Premiere Elements before I upgraded to Premiere Pro. It works very well as well, and they both have trials. I say download one, download the other, play around with both of them for like three, four days, edit a couple of videos, see which one you're most comfortable with. That coupled with the new Hapog Capture um, software that is available again for the PBR2, the PBR2 Plus, and both of the gaming editions. And you're, you're going to be totally happy with it. Now, this isn't available for the first PVR, and the information I got on that was because it wasn't compatible with the, the software, or it wasn't compatible with the hardware, the chip, something else, and, you know, that's just, just how it went. So, so yeah, there we go. It's, um, that's it. The, the, the software is amazing. Yeah, it has a couple of drawbacks to it. We're losing a little bit of editing, editing capability, but, you know, given the functionality of showbiz are we really losing anything at all because I know anybody that was serious about this upgraded away from the showbiz editing software anyway um, the next thing would be the produce tab or yeah the produce tab here and this is right here in the edit you can uh, export to whatever you would like to MPEG 4 file it's going to take um, your settings here uh, you go straight to YouTube. I haven't set this up because I manually upload. I don't upload directly from it. And um, that, that's it. Go on add and yeah, there you go. And I bet by now we're nine minutes into it. You're all asking, wow, where do I get this great new software, this Release Candidate 3 software? And when's the new one going to be available? Well, I can tell you where to get the Release Candidate 3 software, but I don't know when they're going to have the finalized version of it. This is a Release Candidate. They're taking all the feedback that they can get, and I'm going to show you right now where you can send your feedback to them. They're very receptive. You know, let them know what you think about it. Let them know what kind of improvements there might be able to be made. Maybe they missed something. And uh, you can do that at the front desk at hapog.com. And all that information is right here on the page in which you get it from and it is hapog.com capture and i'm going to have that down in the description for you and i'm probably also going to put an annotation on the screen so you can click right on there right now to go and get it and quit listening to me jabber on so now that we've gotten that the only thing left for me to do is to say uh feel free to use the comments below i would say that i'd answer maybe 92 percent of my comments 93 somewhere around there other than that be sure to um 
Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. If you do thumb it down, please tell me what I could have done differently. And uh, if you're a Facebook user, be sure to um, check them out on Facebook, both them and the Gaming Zone. You can get the information right there. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.